StarCraft II, or SC2, is a science fiction real-time strategy video game. The game features a full campaign, co-op gameplay, and an online competitive ladder for players to compete in. The game offers three species or factions to play with. The Terran, which are the humans, the Zerg, a super species of assimilated life forms, and the Protoss, a technologically advanced species with psionic powers. Each race comes with their own selection of units and abilities to master. The competitive mode is the one versus one mode, where both players start on opposite sides of a play area and try to win over their opponent. The game is developed and published by Blizzard Entertainment and is a sequel to the 1998 StarCraft and Brood War expansion pack. The game is split into three installments, each offering a fully fledged campaign. The aim of the game is to collect resources, build up a base and your army, and try to outsmart and defeat your opponent. Let's see how that looks like in the game itself. Alright, now we'll go into StarCraft 2 itself. For, for that you have to launch Battle.net, install the game of course, which is already installed here, and press play. And here we cut. Here you have the loading screen. It will usually ask you to log in for the first time, but for me it's obviously already logged in. And here you have the home screen. This has the automated tournaments uh, on them, as well as weekly mutations for the co-op. Often there's also uh, big tournaments uh, advertised here. On the top we have the first button, which is campaign. Here you can see there are three different campaigns, one for each race plus some additional mission packs if you wish to buy those. The second button takes us to co-op. You have a variety of heroes to choose from, each with their own abilities and own units. There are a couple different missions available. Some are taken from the campaign itself, some are only for co-op. For co-op, there are also mutations, which rotate on a weekly basis and provide a challenge for players. You can always Set up a custom lobby yourself with your friends to play some of these missions. Then we have the most important one, the Versus. This includes training, which will take you to different stages of StarCraft II, battling against AI, which progressively gets more difficult. Then we have teams divided in 2v2, 3v3, 4v4 and Archon. We have, of course, the most competitive thing, the 1v1s. And lastly, you have automated tournaments for you to participate in. You can also join a variety of custom game modes made by the players themselves. There's a whole lobby list and you can play whichever you want. There is a collection available where you can buy skins, announcers, emoticons for in-game, different consoles or different augments, which are your portraits. And lastly, there are the replays. None are available here right now, but you can always go over your own replays or over your friend's replays by just loading them in. Now we'll jump into a quick game versus the AI. Here we have the countdown, and this is your starting base. Your workers will go automatically to work, and the aim of the game is to get more workers to gain more resources, build up buildings for your base, and make an army to defeat your opponent, which on this map is located in the bottom right. Here you have now an example of an army ready to face your opponent. The StarCraft community is one of the older gaming communities, divided in Brudoir or original StarCraft and StarCraft II. The community itself often takes one of three sides, one of the three races. Balance wine is always a hot topic between these three groups inside the community. People in the community are also very passionate about their own game and are often seen as RTS elitists, as they see StarCraft II as the one and only RTS that is worth playing. The professional scene of StarCraft II has been around for a very long time and still holds strong. 
In addition to big events, there are many smaller tournaments hosted from inside the community itself with varying prize pools. The official ranking list often used is the in-game ranking system, but there is a third-party system called Aligalek, which ranks players based on their tournament performances.